I have been in hotel business for last 38 years. I employ more than 100 employees. We have employees that have worked with us for years. We have personal connections to each and every single one of them. I can name their kids' names. Their birth dates, their pet's name. I know when they're in need of something. They're there for me. They're my backbone. What joint employer does is basically destroy that model. It's very important for a government to work and help us by knowing what we need. The joint employer ruling by the National Labor Relations Board is an unfortunate ruling for us as a franchisee that says the federal government is going to treat the franchisor and the franchisee as basically one entity. That employee would work for both myself and the franchisor. If a governing body of a franchisor has to tell us whether we can hire or fire employees, whether we can donate to our little league team in our community, then we lose that individuality and the, what's necessary for our businesses to be successful. We are known for taking employees that start off at entry level position, investing in their training, promoting them, giving them wage raises. With joint employer, that would destroy that part of the business. Sandeep asked all of us to come here today to go see Congressman Harris and ask for support for our small business owners from this district. One of the things that we really want to do when we meet uh, the congressman today is to inform him about policy change that has a huge impact on the franchising model. We're going to meet Congressman Harris today and what I'd like some of you to do is give personal stories about you and how it impacts your hotel and your small business specifically so that he gets to understand it. The congressmen are very busy people, as you can imagine. Their staff actually focus on specific issues, but today we're lucky and we're gonna to get to meet both at the same time. Hi, good, good morning. morning. It's nice to meet you. I'm glad you could all be here this morning to meet with the congressman. The staffer is the eyes and ears for the congressman or your legislator. We want to make sure that they completely understand the issue so they can portray that to the congressman. So it's always nice to talk to the staffer, keep in touch with them. Thank you, Congressman I, Harris. No, my pleasure, my pleasure. What can I do for you today? Have a seat, please. Well, I'm Sandeep Tukrar. I'm a constituent in your district, and we're facing some challenges with the joint employer issue. We need Congressman Harris to co-sponsor the bill, which clearly defines joint employer and does so in a manner that separates the franchisor and franchisee. I'll look over the bill, 3441 with Denise, and uh, we'll get back to you on that. He cares from a voter perspective, from an economy perspective, and it's something that's important to us, and it's going to be important to him. Thank, Thank you for being so here. Your time. Thank we you really for visiting. It. it doesn't require a trip to D.C. or the Hill. You could just go to the local office and express your concerns and needs. You know how important the hospitality industry is to the 1st Congressional District. We've got to do something on this issue. Let's sign on to 3441. We need Congressman Harris to speak up and be an advocate for this bill and an advocate for franchising as it currently exists right now. Look, I have thousands of small businesses in my district, as most members do, hundreds of them affected by this legislation. If we ask any person on the street who an employer is, they wouldn't come up with the NLRB definition. <laughs> they would come up with the definition in this bill. That's what Americans expect from their government. That's what they expect from Congress. So the sooner we can get this done, the better. And uh, again, restore uh, the, the small business economy to large parts of each and every one of our districts. Thank you.